This is the Iowa Weather Report for Thursday, September the 20th, 2012. It's now time for the first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. At 1 p.m. this afternoon, a trough reinforcing itself over the upper Midwest and Great Lakes. Pieces of energy coming around this upper level feature. And at the surface, we have a frontal system that came through last night with a few isolated showers. Be moving off to the east temperatures. Behind it will be oh, cooler with readings in the 60s and 70s. And then on Friday, we have another spoke of energy coming down. That could bring some late night showers later tonight into Friday morning. Should be moving out in the fr Friday afternoon time period. And Saturday, it just looks rather brisk and fairly cool with highs in the 60s so football could be rather brisk and sweatery or sweatshirt weather Sunday bit better warmer highs back at least into the 70s across the state maybe some 60s in the northeastern counties with mostly sunny skies and high pressure overhead Monday winds beginning to move back to the south so temperatures maybe a degree or two warmer 70s across the state at least at this point Low 70s north and east to upper 70s south and west. About the same here on Tuesday. 70s statewide. Some rain showers just to our south and southwest shouldn't bother us any. And across the nation it's fairly quiet too with little if any rain. Wednesday this disturbance to our south moves to the north. Could bring some very isolated scattered showers across the state. Better chances look to be over the Dakotas and Minnesota. But we still could see something. And even a week from today, we have a piece of energy moving across the U.S.-Canadian border. And there's flow pretty much near the U.S.-Canadian border at this point. And at the surface, there's where the precip will be, right in Minnesota, the Dakotas, and northern Wisconsin, the U.P. of Michigan. Some rain along the Gulf Coast and a pretty decent storm system moving into the west coast of Canada. On October 1st, a couple of days after that last image, we have a trough axis to our west, ridge over the east actually pumping all the way up into eastern Canada, and we could have a frontal system diving in from the north and west that could bring some scattered showers and maybe a thunderstorm or two, some rain across the east coast from the mid-Atlantic to Florida as well. And at the end of the forecast, on the 5th, we still have pretty much a zonal flow west east, a bit of energy a bit of energy moving into the Pacific Northwest at this point, a ridge over Florida and the Bahamas. And if this is right, we could see some rainfall to our east and the eastern Great Lakes over the New England states and mid-Atlantic, and over the north and west with that new piece of energy coming in from the Pacific Ocean. But last night the satellite image showed some clouds over Florida and up the just off the east coast we have that disturbance that came through with a few isolated showers last night and another disturbance coming down from the northwest in Canada that will affect us later the watch warning map from last night a little before midnight we had frost and freeze advisories over New England some air quality alerts over South Texas and over the northern Rockies and in Washington State and around the rest of the nation it was fairly tranquil and quiet QBF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Monday evening at 7 o'clock, showing the best rain chances well to our east, also the heaviest rain chances over the Great Lakes, especially Michigan, and over South Florida. Mm -hmm.